Margarita Daphne. Thank you all for coming today. I know it's so beautiful outside, so it's a tough day to be joining me, but we'll be quick and we'll talk about the weather, read another story about Senor Bosley, and sing a few songs. So vamos a empezar ahora con nuestra canción de Hola Amigos. Please sing along with me if you know how. All right, vamos a empezar. Hola amigos, ¿cómo está usted? Estoy muy feliz de verlo a usted. Saludos tu vecino, boogie para abajo. Te sé un tope y te la vuelta. Y ahora vamos a cantar en inglés. Vamos a empezar. Uno, dos, tres. Hello friends, how are you? I'm very happy to see you. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Give a little bop and turn around. Muy bien clase, ahora vamos a leer un libro sobre nuestro amigo se llama Bosley. So today, just give me a moment while I adjust my screen and we will read all about Bosley building a tree house. So this is our third semana con Bosley, nuestro amigo de Bosley, and he is going to construct a tree house today. Today we are still reading about our story with our friend and neighbor written by Tim Johnson who lives right down the road from me here in Freeport. So let me just adjust my screen and then we will get started. All right. Remember friends, recuerden that if you hear a Spanish word that you know, pongan tus pulgares arriba, your thumbs up, to tell me that you already know that word. And if you don't know it, just listen along and try to repeat as you hear it. And today it's a little bit sunnier in me court though, so I'm sorry for the little bit of glare, but we'll work together to try to do our best. Estamos listos? Are we ready? Si, sí. muy bien. Vamos a empezar. Este cuento se llama Bosley construye una casa del árbol. Bosley builds a tree house. And as I said before, it's written by our friendly neighbor, Tim Johnson. He also has children, niños de tu edad, from your age as well. So if you remember, last week we went to the playa with Bosley, and the week before we discovered things around Bosley's house. Today, Bosley's going outside para una aventura en un árbol. He's going outside for an adventure in a tree. Vamos a empezar. So what I'll do is I'll read to you in dos idiomas, both languages, and then I'll show you the picture before I dobla la página, turn the page. Todos los días, Bosley y sus amigos corretean por el bosque, subiéndose a los árboles y jugando a juegos. Every day, Bosley and his friends run through the forest, climbing trees and playing games. We have a friend on here today, Sayama Forest, whose name is Forest. Can we all say hola, Forest? Hola, Forest. All right, let's see what they see in their forest. Un bujo, an owl. Un conejo, a rabbit. Una ardilla, a squirrel. Un oso, a bear. Un zorro, a fox. Y un mapache, a raccoon. All animals that we have in Nuestro Bosque también, in Maine as well. Un día, Bosley tuvo una idea. Vamos a construir una casa en el árbol, sugirió. Buena idea. Vamos a construir una casa en El árbol, gritaron todos entusiasmados. 
One day, Bosley had an idea. Let's build a tree house, he suggested. Good idea. Let's build a tree house. Everyone cheered. Bujo encontró un árbol fuerte y robusto. Los animales hicieron dibujos de cómo querían que fuese la casa. Owl found a big, sturdy tree. The animals drew pictures of what they wanted the treehouse to look like. Malpache dibujó cuatro paredes y un tejado. Zorro dibujó dos ventanas y una puerta. Está genial, dijo Mapache. Raccoon drew four walls and a roof. Fox drew two windows and a door. That looks great, said Raccoon. So here we have our puerta, our door. You probably can't see it very well. También tenemos una ventana, a window, y el tejado, the roof. Muy bien. El conejo dibujó una mesa y algunas sillas. Ardía dibujó unos armarios para guardar nueces. Vamos a construir la casa, exclamó Bosley. Rabbit drew a table and chairs. Squirrel drew some cupboards for storing nuts. Let's start building, exclaimed Bosley. And let's see, here we have nuestra mesa, our table, y la silla, the chair. We have our armario, the cupboard, y el techo, the ceiling. Bosley y sus amigos reunieron todas las herramientas que iban a necesitar. Entonces, trabajaron todos juntos y empezaron a construir. Bosley and his friends gathered all the tools that they would need. Then they all worked together and began building. Let's see what we have here. We have the caja de herramientas, the toolbox. We have the cuerda, the rope. We have the martillo, the hammer. Y la cinta métrica, the measuring tape. Primero construyeron una escalera. Después usaron un cubo y una cuerda para subir las herramientas y los tablones. Se ayudaron unos a otros y todos trabajaron como un equipo. First, they built a ladder. Then, they used a bucket and rope to carry up the tools and the boards. Everyone helped each other and worked as a team. Let's see, there's the escalera, the ladder. And here we have the cubo, the bucket. And here we have the tablones, the boards. Zorro tiró de la cuerda. Malpache llevó los tablones. Fox pulled the rope and Raccoon carried the boards. SOS un equipo. This is a good team together. Bosley clavó los tablones. Ardía mirió todo. Bosley nailed the boards and Squirrel measured everything just right. See them working together? Conejo se aseguró de todo que fuera robusto y Bujo añadió los detalles finales. Rabbit made sure everything was sturdy and Owl added the final details. Wow, que casa. Cuando terminaron, observaron la casa del árbol. 
era preciosa. Gracias a todos por ayudarme, dijo Bosley. Vamos a jugar, exclamó Ardía, y subieron de nuevo al árbol a jugar. When they were finished, they looked at the treehouse. It was beautiful. Thank you all for your help, said Bosley. Let's play, shouted Squirrel, and they climbed back up the tree to play. Pero Bosley olvidó una cosa. Finalmente puso algunas almohadas en el cubo y las subió a la casa del árbol para que todos pudieran dormir la siesta después de haber trabajado tan duro. But Bosley forgot one thing. Finally, he put some pillows in the bucket and brought them up the treehouse so that they could take a long nap after all their hard work. Están descansando, they're resting. Eso es el fin de nuestro cuento. This is the end of our story. Can we all say gracias to Tim Johnson for providing us with these stories. We have one more week of an Aventura con Bosley, and then we'll start some new stories as we go along. Pero ahora tenemos que saber qué tiempo hace hoy. We need to figure out what's the weather like today. If you know this song, sing along with me. Entonces, vamos a encontrar el tiempo. Qué tiempo hace hoy, hace hoy, hace hoy. Que tiempo hace hoy, yo no sé. What's the weather like today? Like today, like today. What's the weather like today? I don't know. And I'm gonna need your help. Quiero tu ayuda, por favor. If you think the weather is what we're about to talk about, you can say C sí, and put your pulgares arriba. If the weather is not that way, you can say no in pulgares abajos, your thumbs down. And if you think it might be kind of that weather, you could say quizás and show me your hand like that. Because remember, I no puedo oyerte. I can't hear you right now, but I can see your hands. Vamos a empezar. Entonces, hace viento hoy? Is it windy today? Sí. Si? No, or quizás. Si, hace, or quizás. Let's put it in the quizás. We have a mixture of people. Gracias. Hace frío hoy? Is it cold today? Si, no, or quizás. No, no hace frío. Hace mal tiempo hoy? Is it bad weather today? Si, no, or quizás. Wow, no, yeah, quizás. Okay, we'll put it in the mixture. Everybody has their opinions. Hace buen tiempo hoy, si? No, o oh, quizás. We'll have to put that in the quizás because some people said it was kind of bad weather. Está nublado hoy, is it cloudy today? Si? No, o oh, quizás. Otra vez quizás, si. It's one of those days. It's classic main day. Está lloviendo. Is it raining hoy? Sí, no, o quizás. No, no hay llueve hoy. Hace sol hoy? Is it sunny today? Fría? Sí, no, o quizás. Quizás, sí. I know, es una mezcla. It's a mixture. Nieva hoy? Is it Snowing today? Si? Sí? No, o oh, quizás. No, gracias a Dios. Thank goodness it's not snowing. Y hace calor hoy? Is it hot today? Si? Sí? No, o oh, quizás. Quizás. Wow, hay muchas. Entonces, vamos a repasar. Que tiempo hace hoy? Hace hoy? Hace hoy? Que tiempo hace hoy? Ya yo sé. What's the weather like today, like today, like today? 
What's the weather like today? Now I know. We're going to review what the weather is today. No, I mi Eva. It is not snowing today. No, you Eva. It's not raining today. No, hace frío. It's not cold today. Y el resto es de quizás. The rest is all maybes. Es un poco hace calor. It's a little bit hot. Es un poco hace sol. It's a little bit sunny. Y también está nublado and it's a little bit cloudy. As some people think it's good weather, hace buen tiempo, like Senorita Daphne. And some people think it's mal tiempo. I don't know. We'll see. And it is un poco hace viento. It's a little bit windy today. A sign of la primavera, spring. Muy bien. Ahora es el tiempo de decir adiós. Now it's time to sing our adios song. So if you know this song, sing along with me. It just goes along to the tune, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. So we'll sing our adios song and I will look forward to seeing you all next week. Thank you for coming this week. I know it's really sunny. We have a lot less people than usual. And that's okay because you do not ever have to feel like you have to come, but I love to see your faces. Les extraño mucho. I miss you all so much. Vamos a cantar nuestra canción de adios. Adios a mis amigos. Adios. Adios a mis amigos. Adios. Adios a mis amigos, adios a mis amigos, adios a mis amigos, adios. Goodbye to all my friends, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye to all my friends, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye to all my friends, adios a mis amigos, goodbye to all my friends, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you all for joining and I look forward to seeing you next week. Hasta la próxima semana. Until then, adios y muchos besos. Les extraño mucho. Muchas gracias. Adios. Bye bye. Gracias.